Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars. And here we have yet another wacko liberal elitist group wanting a uh, certain language banned. Anti-Defamation League. We'll take a look at the original article that appeared from, this is on the Hill. There's a bunch of different sites picked this up. The ADL wants GOP presidential frontrunner Donald Trump to stop using the phrase America first because it was once used by anti-Semites who wanted to keep the U.S. out of World War II. Um, when are you people going to learn this is not the same world as it was back then? I mean, physically it is. Everything's totally different. Uh, Trump used the phrase repeatedly during his foreign policies address Wednesday in Washington. Well, it popped up during an interview with the New York Times earlier this year. He said he intends to make his foreign policy message one of putting the American people first again. Seems reasonable to me. Now I'll go back to the ADL. Right here, right here it is, uh, in their own words, the ADL urged presidential candidate Donald Trump to reconsider his use of the phrase American First as a slogan describing his approach to foreign affairs. Well, it's about time he did that type, someone did that type of thing. And now you globalists, this is a globalist thing. Uh, citing its anti-Semitic use in the months before Pearl Harbor by a group of prominent Americans seeking to keep the nation out of World War II. So, why? Uh, you people want to get us into World War Three? is that it? I'm not getting what the point is here. Most noteworthy leader of the America First Committee was Charles Lindbergh, who sympathized with the Nazis and whose rhetoric was characterized by anti-Semitism and offensive stereotypes, including assertions that Jews posed a threat to the U.S. because of their influence in motion pictures, radio, and press, and government. Uh... Should I mention uh, Harvey Weinstein, uh, Katzenberg, and so forth? Hmm. Undercurrents of anti-Semitism and bigotry that characterized Americans' first movement, including the assumption that Jews who opposed the movement had their own agenda and were not acting in America's best interest, is fortunately not a major concern today said Jonathan A. Greenblatt, ADL CEO. However, for many Americans, the term America First will always be associated with and tainted by this history, and the political session has already prompted a national conversation about civility and tolerance. You mean censorship. Choosing a call to action historically associated with incivility and intolerance seems ill-advised. A lot of ills there, aren't there? In a letter to Mr. Trump, ADL urged him to refrain from using this slogan in the future. Well, uh, you can get bent. You ADL people can basically get bent, as far as I'm concerned. You don't know what that means, look it up in the Urban Dictionary. We are going to put America first. We're going to get this country back on track, I hope. After seven plus years of hate directed against this country from the White House. And here are these people. Look right over here. Imagine a world without hate. Right at the top there. Imagine a world without hate. And here we have somebody sitting in the White House who hates Israel, hates Jews. Trump has said that uh, 
his position towards Israel would be neutral, which is better than what we have with Obama. He hates Israel. Obama hates Israel. He hates this country. He's done everything he can to undermine it. And never a word of uh, these people about that. No. But Trump, he's not supposed to say America first. Well, like I said, get bent, ADO. I don't care what you think. You can go to hell. Burn in hell. Burn in hell. Burn in hell. Burn in hell. I'm out of facts of Mars. I stand by these comments.